So bedlam is bedlam. You know, you know, you got to stay focused on you know uh, your individual match, and um, we'll see how our lineup is. Um, you know, Jacoby's questionable. We might have one more questionable, but uh, um, you know, in the end, um, you know, you just hope you have your better matches as we're going into postseason. John Bedlam's always been a a, a match of familiarity. Do you feel like because there's just the one match this year, because of a lot of changes, there's less familiarity between the rivals in wrestling than maybe there's ever been? Yeah, probably. We haven't seen each other all year long. I mean, we haven't, I don't even think we've seen their varsity team in any of the open tournaments, or nor have they seen us where they've gone. Um, you know, I think it makes it interesting, you know. Um, I'm, I just feel like when I see look at their team, um, they've kind of been hit a little bit, but. I think it's better than what, you know, what they've done. And Bedlam always brings that uh, element of surprise. And I always say that we need to create that surprise, you know, uh, whether you're favored or not. You need to create some opportunities for yourself to go, wow, that's what Bedlam needs to be. It needs to be, a, you know, people step back and go, wow, that was awesome. You know, and, and hopefully it's because our team wrestled so well. So uh, that's what I'm hoping for throughout the weekend. Does it make it easier or harder to prepare for them not only seeing them once? You know, I don't. I don't think you know. Uh, preparing for them is that's the easy part. You know, it's pretty much always what you do, not what they do, uh, that creates points and opportunities to win. You know, so I just have a good feeling that you know if our team starts to to materialize what they're capable of doing, um, good things are going to happen for.